So I've been doing some shopping for the boys and I wanted to show you guys some of what I've picked up. Excuse my voice, I am getting over feeling sick. Some of the stuff we've bought ourselves and some of the other stuff we were gifted at our baby shower. I've always wondered how I would shop for my twins, like whether I would be the type of parent to dress them the same all the time or whether I would kind of mix and match or like give them their own personalities. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do so I've got a mix of um, identical items and some mix and match stuff. So I'll start with what I have here which was gifted to us and it has Dumbo on the front of this one. It's a three piece set so it's got the shirt on the outside and then Dumbo on the front and then it has a pair of socks on the back. This one we didn't pick up ourselves but I will do my best to link everything I can find in the description box. This one is in a size zero to three months. Shopping for sizes I'm finding is also a bit difficult. With my son, I was able to kind of figure out what size that I was gonna get for him. I don't remember picking up any newborn stuff for him, but because they're twins and they might be preemies, it's a bit difficult to know what sizes to get, but um, this looks pretty big, <laughs> which is fine because it means that it can last us for a little while. I think it's really cute it's in this blue color i do like blues i know it's kind of like a thing to like dress your children in like neutral stuff now which i don't mind but i do like blues as well so there's that one and then we got gifted it with a mini mouse mini mouse mickey mouse set which is basically the same and i believe it came with socks as well but i think they've fallen off this one but i like this one as well so this is what they look like together and I'm sure that because the top is separate I could probably like swap them out if I wanted to like put the brown with the blue and vice versa next I have these jumpsuits were actually the first thing I bought for the boys so I picked them up from next and they're identical and they've just got teddy bears over them so i got this in up to three months again it looks quite big but i do find that with next their kids clothes are quite generous again i wasn't sure about the sizing so i didn't get newborn or anything so next i have some baby grows or body suits these are short sleeve body suits with animals on the front i believe we picked these ones up i think i'm not sure but I love the animals on the front. I think they're super cute. And this is in a size three to six month. And then we have another one, which is with blue stripes, blue details. I think it's got like um, dinosaurs on it. I do really love anything with dinosaurs. I don't know why, even for my son, a lot of his clothes have dinosaurs on them. So I really like that. And then we got gifted this um short sleeve bodysuit set with the matching bibs which is quite cute together bibs are always handy of course to like wipe up their spit and stuff like that they get stained really easily so i did find that i was going through bibs really quickly so it's always handy to have loads of those next we got gifted what looks like a sleep set so it's like a jumpsuit We've got two of the same and it's in this grey colour with it looks like light blue detailing on it. I think that's cute. This is a newborn. It's also not super thick which I think will be handy in the summer with the warmer nights. Next we have long sleeve bodysuits. They're just plain white. I do really like plain white bodysuits. I don't know why I like plain white. I mean, they're probably not the most practical because they get stained and then you have to either steam them on like a really hot wash or get rid of them depending on what they're stained with. So I do find that I run my way through these as well, but they are really easy to match, especially the long sleeves ones. They're really easy to match with any bottom. So you can like put on a pair of shorts or a pair of little trousers or jogging bottoms or something. And then you can always just keep them with this as a top without them getting too hot or too cold so i do like the long sleeves i actually think at newborn age or really small baby age that i might prefer the long sleeve over the short sleeve just because i feel like it's easier for them to be covered but cool especially in the summer months so yeah we've got a pack of these 
actually two packs but this pack is a bit bigger this is for three to six months and this is for zero to three months next we have another pair of jumpsuits they're the same they're just straight striped in gray and it says born in 2022 very cute <laughs> with rainbows and animals and everything on it so i think this is really cute at newborn stage i do also prefer jumpsuits with feet on because you know you're always trying to keep their feet and their hands warm but keeping track of those little baby socks can be really really difficult whereas if it's already got the feet attached then you don't have to worry about that so i do like the jumpsuits with the feet on the bottom and what i do when they start to get a bit too tall for the jumpsuits is that i just cut the feet off and let them wear it to bed i do like the gray color as well so next we have more bibs and we have them in these beige color very sweet again with the bibs i feel like it's just a good idea to just get as many <laughs> as many as you can as you can i found that to be helpful the first time around which is why i also had this on my wish list which we got gifted it's from amazon it's basically like a pack of i think it's a pack of 20 bibs there's loads of them and i did really enjoy the colorway so you can see that there's like blue gray green and a creamy color and then there's more i think it was about 12 pounds as well not very expensive for as many as you're getting anyway so then they've got different shades of green i really like that blue that blue's pretty so i've got this pack as well of bibs so next we did a bit of shopping at h&m so i picked up this winnie the pooh which i thought was so cute i love this teal color it's got like winnie the pooh outlined on it and it comes in a pack of two this is available right now actually i think i bought this like last week or something so i got two of those and i do find that h&m newborn runs small so i thought that this might be okay for them for when they are pretty new depending on when they come of course but i picked this up for in one to two months other h&m clothes come small in their kids or my 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 children at all <laughs> it could be probably a mix of both i also picked up some more body suits that had sleeves because again my thinking was that i can just put on a pair of trousers with them and mix and match that means at least in the beginning i don't think i plan on having individual clothes for individual babies if that makes sense they're both gonna wear what's available <laughs> so i thought with the long sleeves i can just mix and match the shorts or the trousers so i picked up this free free pack i picked this up in one to two months as well and i kind of like the, the way that the buttons were off center so it comes in stripes in gray and then in blue i also picked up this set <laughs> this beige set and i picked up two it comes in three pieces i do try to keep their heads covered especially when they're out of the house in the beginning so this comes with like a little hat attached to it and then it's got a doggy print on the front and it comes with little trousers and i picked this one up in a two to four months it looks small to me so i thought that they could wear this at least towards the end of the summer going into autumn so next i have some more body suits <laughs> i have this short sleeve set from marks and spencers marks and spencers i found runs big so i picked this up in up to one month i thought that these could be good if for when they're newborns oh so cute <laughs> yeah i thought this could be good for when they're newborns or even if they're preemies a little bit and then i have another set that i believe was gifted to us it's in the same set that you guys have already seen with the animal print on the on running up the front and the short sleeves i think before i had children i really thought i would be spending lots of money like buying them really fashionable i don't know like out expensive outfits and all that kind of stuff but it's turned out that i'm actually not that parent she's in there but just not like a hundred percent especially not for really small babies i think for occasions it's fine but for really little babies they poo and vomit on everything and it really hurts my heart to throw away baby clothes even now my son's clothes we'd really try to kind of give them away to other parents who have younger children or take them to this charity shop or something like that it really 
does bother me the idea of clothes ending up in landfill and most of the time especially when they get into toddler age the clothes are not ruined they're just too small what i try to do with my children is kind of just get them really good basics and that can mix and match and if i want to buy like a nice little jumper or something to put on top or something like that then i'll do that i do still need to get some things in their name but we're still agreeing on the names so once we do that then i'm gonna get a few not too many but a few things with like their names on it next i've got more bibs <laughs> bibs and muslin blankets muslin blankets are so underrated you need one everywhere keep one in your pocket keep one in your bag keep one ev everywhere because they'll always come in handy wiping something up and it's easier or i find it easier and more cost effective muslin cloths or bibs over um what do you call them baby wipes because you'll go through the baby wipes so quickly but we got the bib set to go with three piece set that we got so it's kind of just matching i also picked up these little baby socks i'm really bad at keeping track of socks i think i mentioned already it's very it's much easier for me to get bodysuits with feet on than to try and keep track of these socks <laughs> so i only got one pack and it's up to one month i probably am going to need to pick up a couple more just so that i have them and it's um the little mittens for their fingers so that they don't scratch their face i probably need some of those as well if you guys have any tips on how to keep track of these things then let me know next marks and spencers was having a sale so i saw these in the sale i thought that they were very cute they were five pounds and i got them in zero to three with little dinosaurs on the knees but were really cute and i thought i could basically mix match with any of these baby girls which will be my plan next we were gifted a pack of sleeping bags so this is the pack it's available on amazon and this is what they look like so this one has animals all over it which is pretty cute it's very long and then this one has stars and moons all over it i think that they do come in sizes so i will put all of the details or the link in the description box so you guys can check that out i think with my son i used sleep suits maybe once or twice he hated being swaddled he hated being restricted or like having things on him <laughs> so uh, swaddling sleep suits anything that kind of enclosed him which is what you'd think that a baby would want but he didn't really want that he didn't really like to be touched or anything like that he didn't like to be creamed all the things that you think that babies would enjoy he hated so um i think i'm gonna just have to see how they are when they come but sleep suits are a good way to stop them from like being uncovered we got gifted another two-piece set it says superstar on the front it's got stars and green detail on it so we've got two of the same i think these are really cute i think they'd be good for autumn autumn winter and these are in size 9 to 12 months so that's probably probably where it's gonna fall for them where they'll be able to wear them we were also gifted some things that my aunt made so <laughs> i have quite a few aunts and quite a few of them are like creative so she made them little hats which I thought is so cute. She knitted the, it for them, for their little heads. And then it comes with the matching mittens that she knitted. So I thought that was super sweet. We were also gifted Uggs. <laughs> so this is before I knew what we were having. We got gifted these two super cute baby Uggs. So we got that set and this set so again it's really hard to tell with sizing i'm not sure how big their little feet are going to be but i'm going to imagine that these are probably going to be more for winter for them so this is everything that we've picked up for them clothes wise so far i think that there are still a few things that i want of course we we already have a child so some of the things that you probably need if you're having like a your first child we already have but this is a start <laughs> i think once we agree their names it will also be easier for me to shop for them but i feel like once i know their name it's going to help me decide what they need if that makes sense probably doesn't make sense but that's what i'm thinking but yeah if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe 
probably be more shopping hauls coming probably so stay tuned for that i'm also going to be doing a baby gear haul i really really want a double breast pump and we need to pick up another car seat and tram and all that kind of stuff so if you're interested in seeing that please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know it's a bit new for for my channel but it is part of what's going on in my life right now getting ready for the babies to come so i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and I will see you in my next video. Yeah. Bye.